I'd like to welcome everyone to the service this morning. What a beautiful Sunday morning this is. We come to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God is so good. What a pleasure it is and a privilege to serve the Lord. Yes. We trust that His presence will be real in His service today. Yes. We come to have our heart warm and just open our heart this morning. Amen. I'm going to ask the congregation to do something a little different today, and that is to remain seated. We're going to sing number 370 from our church hymnal. Just look at the work of this song, please, as we sing it. We will remain seated and sing. Uh, we're so thankful to have God you that we stay here with us today. And he's very glad to have the solo back from Rotan. Good to have you back from the solo. We trust the Lord of bless you. And you take my hand among us again. We're going to remain seated and sing number 370. So don't even believe us. Father, my God, 
again, Lord God, we approach the mercy yes, seat yes. of grace on the morning. Lord, we come to worship you, dear Father. Yes, Lord. Because you tell us in your word, God is a spirit. Yes. Yes. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes. And each and every one that are here assembled in this building this morning. That we may look away from ourselves, dear Father. Yes, Lord. We may look away from everything that are around us this morning. Yes. And concentrate on the goodness of God yes. and worship Him in the fullness and holiness this morning. Father, we pray that we must touch your people another time, Lord. Father, we need you, dear Father, more than we ever need you before. So, Lord God, we come humbling ourselves before your footstool this very moment, saying, Bless your people, dear Father. Help us, Lord God, to know you, Lord God. And if there is some, Lord, down there that have not yet known their Lord of their life, we pray, Lord God, that we open their heart this morning as the word is preached. Lord God, that they may find a word, may find enlightenment in the heart of your people, dear Father. We pray to this anoint your speaker, Lord God, as you speak this morning. Lord, I pray that we may speak, Lord, that word that ascended from heaven. That the word may not be his own word, Lord, but you, dear Lord, may speak to your people. So, Father, we come in this service into your hand this very moment, Lord. Father, take full control, Lord God. Lord God, we pray the lead into the length and to the breadth of thy divine will, dear Lord. And that everything that should say and done, Lord, may be done, Lord God, to glorify your holy name. Yes, Bless us this very moment, Lord God. Keep us on the winning side. Rebuke the devil, dear Father, and cover your people under your blood, Lord. That when this service comes to its end this morning, every heart that gathered here may say it was good for us to be here. Amen. So take over now as we humble, wait for your pursuit in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good morning, church. Good morning. I'll be reading the responsive reading. Um, called Fellowship with God, I read the light print, and the congregation read the dark print. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and holy in all his works. What number? What number? What number? What number? My apologies, um, responsive reading number 24 from the church hymnal. That's responsive reading number 24 in the back of the church hymn. That's page 460. Yeah. Okay. Fellowship in God. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching a, anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Amen. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may, be, may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write me unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin together. And he continue daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, they eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all people. 
present the reading of his precious
approval of the Holy Spirit. You know, last Sunday morning I came here and brought a left home because he didn't preach. And I suppose it would be the same thing this morning. Um, we've got to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. That's right. That's the other book. Yes, sir. I trust the Lord will continue to bless this service. Sister Jen is going to sing for us at this time. Fill my cup.
Be barren, brother. Bless I'm going to read a scripture taken from Ephesians 4 and one from 1 Peter. The words of the Apostle Peter and the words of the Apostle Paul. The fourth chapter of Ephesians, beginning with verse 11. Ephesians 4, beginning with verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Shall we all come into the unit of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children, Tossed to throw and throw. And carried above with every wind of doctrine by the sweat of men. And cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love, they grow up into him in all things, which are the head of Christ. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, making increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Amen. And from 1 Peter 1, 3 through 5, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that faded thought away, reserved in heaven for you, Amen. who are kept by the power of God Amen. through faith unto yes. salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. My mind is centered around the word adverse yes. this morning. That's right. The word adverse means acting or serving to oppose, Amen. antagonistic, harmful, or unfavorable. Right. So there are people in the world today that go through adverse circumstances. Yes, sir. And the Apostle Paul was one of them. Yes as well as the other apostles do. An apostle is one that was chosen to tell others about Christ. Amen. Particularly from their eyewitness account. Yes, the prophets are delivered direct, were delivered direct revelation from God even before the New Testament was written. Yes, and the evangelists are preachers who help to bring people into the body of Christ. Yes, sir. Pastors do for the church that which a literal shepherd does for the sheep. Yes. Feed, nurture, yes. care for, Amen. and protect. Yes, sir. And so on. Amen. God provided leaders for the equipping of the saints. As a result, the body is built up. Children are vulnerable mm -hmm. and easily influenced. Come on. Hence the need for young Christians to mature yes. and be settled into the doctrines of the church. Yes, Verse 16 there, every part of the body is essential to this full group. Yes, every part of the body yes, sir. is essential to its full group. There are no insignificant parts in the body. Amen. And I'm referring now to the body of Christ. Amen. No insignificant part in the body of Christ. Anything that builds up the Christian and the church is edifying. Amen. Amen. Now, what I read from Peter there, our salvation is grounded in God's mercy. True, sir. His act of compassion toward us 
in spite of how sinful yes, sir. we were. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We must love this. Yes. Yes. We must love what God does to you. We must love the word of God. Amen. You must love the gospel. Yes, sir. The gospel is designed to make us who we could never have been. Yes, sir. Amen. In our own strength. Yes, sir. And our own ability. Amen. The use of the word hope. Hope here implies a confidence that does not end with this life, but continues through eternity. Yes, sir. You read the scripture. Man. And the part that God me about the scripture of Peter is, who are kept yes. by the power of God. That's right. Don't let the devil tell you you can't live for him. That's, That's, right. Right. That's, right. That's right, Brother James. Verses 4 through 5. We do not now fully understand what God has prepared for us. No but no. one day, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I had a song listed to sing, to sing here this morning. And I, I, I didn't sing it. I don't know what the spirit did this one. But the song was that when the trumpet of the Lord is sound, yes. time shall be no more. Yes, sir. And the morning break is turned out by the fair, when the seats are washed together yes. over on the other shore. And the roll is called up yonder. Out of the there. Yes. That's what the song says. Yes. That was written as a result of a man that was teaching us on the school class. And there was always a little student, a little girl that was always present. But one morning she was up. When her knee was called, she was upset. She didn't answer the roll call. That's why he wrote that song. That's the history behind that song. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. We have to have a confidence in ourselves. Yes, sir. Yes. We have to believe in ourselves. That's right. And understand who we are as Christians. Amen. And anybody else. That's right. That God is your friend. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. God wants to be your savior. Yes, he does. I, 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 I said to this in the school class there a few minutes ago, that when we give ourselves to God, when a person becomes a Christian and accepts the Lord Jesus Christ uh, as savior, he's accept, accepting him as his Lord and master of that. Yes, yes, we are. Huh? Yes. In other words, we don't dictate to him how we live. Right. He does for us. Because we are born with a price. Yes. That's what the Bible says. Amen. The price that was paid for us was the blood of Jesus. Yes. I had a funeral here yesterday, afternoon for a sort of five-year-old. Very touching indeed. It was very, very touching. Can you imagine? The love and bond of a mother yes. with a son, 35 years old. And I related a little story that I always tell here about the little boy in that funeral yesterday evening. The little boy that made a boat and he began to sail it in the water and the little string broke and he lost the little boat. But one day he went downtown and he yes. saw this little boat in the showcase at the yes. shop. And it looked like his little boat. Yes. But it was all tattered and worn and his paint was off and the little sails were torn. But he was, he was confident it was his little boat. Yes. And he bought the little boat. He paid, I think it was $2 for the little boat. When he got outside, he hugged it up. Yes. Now your choice mine. Amen. I made you. Amen. And I bought you. Amen. That's what redemption is. Yes. 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 We bought back yes. Yes. all the sheep. Yes. Yes. Gone yes. astray. Yes. They have turned everyone to his own way. Yes. Yes. Right. The Lord has made on him the iniquity yes. of us all. God carries his people to save the truth. Yes. That is so true. All the storms and tempests that they may meet with. On their voyage, you know. Yes. That's so true. 
toward heaven and land them at length to their desired harbor. We're headed for a destination. And the Bible speaks about this in the 107th Psalm. It's a beautiful Psalm. And it says there, He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. This is talking about the ship at sea. Then are they glad? Because they be quiet. And he bringeth them into unto their desired haven. Psalms 107, that's verse 29 and verse 30. Some of those ships out at sea, they have some tough voyages. Yes. Some of them are battered and torn. Come on, church. Yes, sir. Some of them are battered and battered yes. and battered. Yes, sir. Some of them go down yes. in the storm. Yes. Yes, sir. Some of them are battered and shattered, but yes. the, this, the sea comes. Yes. And the wind stops. Yes. And they get back on the car. And they end up port. They're all beat up. But they made it safe. Yes, yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. Just like the sea on the glass, when the waves are calm. Right. So when all the noise and the fear that the troubles come to an end, mm -hmm. so will the Christian be glad. Yes. You will have made it on Amen. where you, you've gone to sin no more. Amen. No more temptations. Yes. No more problems. Come on. Yes. 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 No more stones. No more sickness. Yes. 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 Every day, every morning, 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 every Paul went through it. You know? But he, he had a long and a, and a constant walk. Although it wasn't, he wasn't such an old man. But do you know that after Paul had made that notable testimony that you find in the second book of Timothy chapter 4 where he said he was ready? He was writing to this young man. Yes. He went on to say, this is what he concluded his letter. This is the last letter. Yes. This is his last letter. Yes. Do their diligence to come. Yes. Shorten unto me. Yes. For Demas has forsaken yes. me. Yes. Having loved this present world. Yes. He's gone back into Thessalonica and Galatians so on. Only Luke is with me, he said. Take Mark and bring him to the tomb. For he's profitable, profitable to me for the ministry. Yes. You see the bond of love and fellowship yes. between these people? Yes. But he went on to say, Alexander, the copper said, did me much evil. He didn't, he didn't have it easy. The Lord reward him according to his works. Let me tell you something. Paul didn't hate Alexander. No. Paul loved him. Yes. But he stood in, he stood his ground. That's right. That's right. Yes. Of whom thou be of whom be thou well, beware. Because he agreed with sort of work. At my first answer, no man stood with me. No man. That's right. God. What are we complaining about? What are we complaining about? That's right. What are we complaining about? That's right. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. Thank you, Lord. Paul demonstrated consistency in his life. He didn't have an up and down life. He loved God. Yes. And subsequently, he loved people. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes, sir. He was sent. Yes, sir. Don't call this man to minister to our people. Yes. To tell the Gentiles about God. Yes. To turn them from darkness to light. Yes. 
under the control or stay under the power of God. Yes. You know, sometimes the devil can ask us a question and it makes us wonder whether we should preach anymore. Let me tell you something, friend. People that are called to preach must preach it. Yes, yes. Amen. That's right. yes sir. It doesn't matter who listens. That's right. Or who listens. That's right. They have a job. Paul had a job. Yes. 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 And he fulfilled it. Yes, yes sir. Amen. And it resulted in making the Christian way attractive. Let me tell you something, friends. Anything about the gospel is attractive and interesting. Yes. We need to let go of this stuff in the world. Yes. That's right. We need to stop drooling. Yes. Excuse the expression. Yes. We need to stop drooling in the world. Yes. And get down to business with God. Yes. That's right. Yes. Amen. 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 I tell you. Preach. Yes. 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 The things are changing yes. for us. Yes. And, and, and holiness is not the most coveted. Coveted, we have like people in the world today. They're not the most coveted. But the best. And I tell them, we do better how we have it. Yes. 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 God is blessing you. Yes. God is blessing you because God is doing what he's supposed to do. Yes. Don't change, hold on to God. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes. All knew this world was this home. Yes. Huh? That's right. And it's getting rough now. Yes. Yes. And for a lot of people in the world, I'm telling you. It's a real serious business. Amen. That's true. And I, I, the, the life has thrown some hard blows. It sure has. But yes. people let it just be realistic. Yes, yes sir. Let's be realistic. That's right. People are so caught up in the world today trying to survive um, from the natural standpoint. Yes. They're coming out of time. They think about spirituality. That's true. That's what's happening in the world That's today. That's true. Yes. Stressed out. That's yes. true. Stressed out. That's true. Frustrated out. There was frustration you can think about it, God. That's true. Trying to make ends meet. That's true. People making a little bit of money with eight children. Yes, mm. that's true. Nine children. That's true. Ten children. Let me tell you something, friends. It's not, it's not, it's not easy. No, sir. And then on top of it, the pandemic. Yeah. Yes. Paul, let me tell you something. Paul kept prepared. Yes. yes. Mm. He didn't wait for the trumpet song, did he? No. Oh, man. Mm. Come on, sir. That's right. No. There are six thoughts expressed in our words of scripture there. There are two words of scripture there that are um, part of the good fight. Yes. His sir. heart was right with God. Yes. yes. In other words, he was really. Yes. Amen. Come on. Yes. 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 He was really. Yes. It was really. It looked time and off was coming to an end. Yes. And he thanked God for helping him. Yes. Yes. That he could stand. And as he said to the Ephesians, having done all yes. to stand. That's right. He got to do something to stand. That's yes. right. Yes. He can't walk to heaven in a walking chair. Oh, no. He got to do something. He's got to be yes. like something for himself. Yes. Yes. That's right. Keep it going. Yes. Come on. That's right. Yes. Keep it going. Right. Yes. If you're not going to go in the garage, you're not going to see it up. Yes. Yes. You're not getting moved again. No. You didn't know? Yes. yes. If you're not going to go in the garage, you're not going to go in the garage. You're not going to see it up. You've got to exercise your Christian life. Yes. 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 You've got to express love and joy yes. and peace. That's right. That's right. Gently. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right.
Give him to go home. He kept the faith. In other words, he never compromised. No, that's right. Man Amen. stood for what he stood for. He Amen. never compromised that's right. the truth. Amen. Amen. I spoke, I uh, had a message this morning on the radio program. It come from the 7th of the 8th chapter of John, where Jesus was speaking to his disciples some men, and some men went away. Walk no more yes. with him. Yes. Peter said, the home shall you go. Yes. Lord, what can I speak? The home, where are you going? Yes. That's right. Where are we going? Yes. Yes. The name God of our life. Yes. 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 He was also assured of a crown. Yes, sir. He said there is made up for me. Yes. And not for me only. Yes. The crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, yes. shall give me. This judge not to make a mistake. Yes. And not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearance. Yes. He wanted the company of this young man. Do they do just to come to me short? I don't know all that. You know, there is nothing in the world again like the bond of love and fellowship yes. among the people of God. Yes. Let me tell you, the old devil in the world today has yes. never been worse. Yes. I don't believe that he is today. And everything he can do to destroy it and bring down a person, he's going to understand the world of the devil. Yes. Thank God, the power of God. So, in today's world, much attention is focused on current events. Yes. And rightly so. Yes. Yes. I suppose sometimes you go bored with it, but you've got to have what's going on. Yes. At least some of it. Yes. As much of the news about the weather, yes. and about natural disasters and so on that disrupt the lives of many people, political issues. Yes. Including elections and this and that and other big thing now. Religion also is included. Yes. Huh? Yes. In conversation. Yes. Both in the positive and in the negative. Yes. Some don't have anything good to say about the church. That's no. true. That's true. That's true. And the church. That's true. Uh, this one particularly. Some people are throwing their hands in the air. Yes. Do you want anything to God? That's true. Let me tell you something, friends. It's not the church. Is the who you know is yes. Jesus Christ in your heart. I don't want to yes. say you must know the Lord. Yes. 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 The natural struggle to survive has distracted the mind of so many from thinking along spiritual lines. Yes. What the Bible teaches is that in all times, in all generations, yes. and all situations, God is still the same. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. I haven't found anything where the Bible said that God would change. Yes. 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 No. The Holy Spirit is still the same. That's, yes. that's what we must focus on. That's, yes. that's where the blessing comes from. That's yes. right. It's the Holy yes. Presence of God. Yes. It's not about us. Yes. It's not about the business. No. It's no. about the presence of God. Yes. 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 Now is the time to stand on the principles that are laid down for us. In the Bible that made many people look at what they are and what they are. Yes. They call the live according to this. Yes. What a difference. Yeah, what a change. Yeah. That's true. Do you know there was a time when children went street listening to the Bible being yes. read? Yes. 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 Probably their granny. Mm -hmm. Or their yes. mama. Yes. Maybe their grandfather. Yes. Yes. Used to be. Yes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes, we listen to Bible story. Yes. yes. What are you getting today? What are you getting? What are you getting? Now is the time to stand on the principles of the Bible Christianity, my beloved friend. Christianity is a wonderful standard for living. Yes. But of course, it's a choice. Yes. Jesus called it ordinary fishermen. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes. 
Yes. Some of them were discouraged. Yes. Had gone fishing, never caught anything. Yes. But Jesus called them. Yes. And they followed him. Yes. The Bible says they left their nets. Yes. And they followed the master. He said to them, I will make you fishers of men. Yes. Paul reinforced this. And we're going to read this scripture before I finish. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, the beginning of verse 26, it says, For you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things of the mighty. And base things of the world and things that are despised and God chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring the not things that are. The little Paul, the same little Paul that was converted on the road to Damascus, he stood before the king. He stood before King Agrippa. Robed in his purple. Robed, you know what he said? Almost. Thou persuadest me to be a Christian. He stood before the governor of Felix. Yes, Felix. Yes. And Felix said, When I have more convenient seasons, yes. I'll call you. Yes. And there's no record no, in the Bible no, that he ever called again no. for Paul. Mm. Fill my cup. Yes. Lord. Yes. Yes. Get the well. Simple, plain, sinful woman. Yes. I don't know all that she was in. But Jesus called her then. She had five husbands. Yes. And the one she had them with her. Yes. It's not not the Bible. Yes. Yes. Jesus didn't drown her. No. In the well. No. He said that. Yes. focus of this. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you, this, I miss the simplicity of life. That's so true. Yeah. In these islands here, the natural life. That is so true. I miss it. Yes, I me too. I miss the simplicity of the natural life in Cayman. That's true. But Christianity is a natural, simple life. Yes. Yes. You know, no big phylactery. That would be a word. I don't know what our word is. <laughs> well, it's all it. It's a simple, humble life. God calls us out of a world of sin. He gives us something that nobody needs. Nobody. You don't get that from anywhere but God. You don't buy that from your grandfather, from your grandfather, from your inheritance, from them either. You get it from God. What a blessing to know. And it is well. We can sing a closing song. Amen. 157. And I want to hear you some more now. The Lord has really moved down. I know that. And you can move again. 157. That's not.
God is steadily yes. reviving, yes. bringing back His people back. Yes. Let the Lord do the work. Yes. And what is He doing? All to Jesus I surrender. Lord, I give myself to Thee. Give me with Thy love and power. Let Thy blessing fall upon me. Last word.
Amen. And they just come in when they their regular service at 7 o'clock, regular midweek service. Let us plan to meet that service, please. Also, I am still not coming to the door. You mustn't think that I have forsaken you. No, no, no. <laughs> but I have a big responsibility. Yes. yes. And if I can keep away from it. Yes. Yeah. Holy day, I'll do my best. So, so it's still raining in the world. Mm -hmm. not, it not is. here too much, but anyway, I, I, I'm still not coming to the door to hug and go home. Yes, still not the So that's why I'm not coming. Brother, so will be dismissed the service, please. Eternal Heavenly Father God, in Jesus' name we have to be in the name of the Father. Lord, now I from everlasting to everlasting Father God. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for your message on my behalf. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your messenger. Father, let the word of God fill the heart in these souls that is here this morning. Help us, O oh Lord, as the psalmist said, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I may not sin against yes. thee. Lead, guide, and direct us, Lord, as we leave our shepherd's home. Lord, and that we see it fit for us to return back to the house of worship. Anoint us afresh. Give us, O oh Lord, thy Holy Spirit, dear Father, to lead, guide, and direct our footsteps on many more. Reveal the plan of the devil in this way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.